In the second part, I will be showing you how we can use the command line interface L setup to mount devices uh, as the same way I show you the command mount in the first part of this section. Loop setup is also associ uh, used to associate loop device with regular files or block device. It is an alternative solution for you if you want to mount a uh, device uh, not using the command mount where you must be aware when informing the, the offset sectors because as we could see if informing the, the wrong information you will not you will not be able to, to mount the the logical try to the how image file so let's see how it will set up can help us in this activity in a terminal the same way when I issue the main command I can access the complete manual of L setup and we uh, can see all the parameters and options that is available to, to us while using L setup and at any time you get to quit and then it will return to the, the terminal and uh, if I just launch L setup without parameters, the command will query the system to bring us the attached loop devices uh, in the in in the Linux environment. If we receive no results from the L setup, it means there is no attached loop device in our environment. Now I'm going using the command line interface with some parameters to mount the how image file in a loop device. So I'm going using L setup with the parameter P with which means in uh, P in uppercase means parts uh, parts forces the kernel to scan the partition table on a newly created loop device which means if there is no created loop devices yet it will be created probably with the uh, label loop zero and the parameter F also can be used to to find the first unused loop device, uh, which will be uh, 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 the zero as well. And another parameter that I can use here is show. The parameter show will display the name of the assigned loop device uh, that will be mounted to us just after launching the this command line interface and also uh, it's a good idea to active uh, 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 to use the V uh, which will be active in the verbose mode because vermode, verbose mode is useful if you get some uh, errors uh, it will be presented in the terminal and then we inform uh, the the source of the the data you want to to mount, which will be the the image file we just we just used in the first part of this session. As you can see, the parameter show bring brings us the information about the loop device that it was mounted and you must be realized that it was mounted here as a as an attached device that is already available to our systems from now on 
and if I double click in this device I can see the same folders that you had the opportunity to see in the first part using the command mount the same way we can access the content of the how image file by using L setup and also we can copy the content and bring it to my desktop for example if I want to make some changes on this document I preserve it in the whole image file and another important thing to 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 show you is that uh, note that the the device was mounted as loop zero as I I have explained to you now supposed that I want to to mount uh, uh, the same the same loop device oh, I'm sorry uh, another loop device using the same disk image so if I launch the same command line interface we will be receiving another loop device assigned as loop one which is basically contain the same information the loops the loop zero has and now if I launch the command line interface I will set up without parameters I receive oops I receive the information regarding the two loop devices mounted or attached to my system which is the loop one and the first one loop zero and I can also mount another one which will be loop two and another one will be loop three and so on this loop three will be mounted here and if I query for the system to look for the loops mounted in the environment we can see all of them here and then uh, it is more easy to detach these drives from my system just right clicking it and um, mounting them now if I query for the system I have only loop 0 and loop 1 and here I can also unmount then and now I have no loop devices attached to my environment here I can delete this file from my my system and uh, L setup bring us the the alternative solution uh, if you want to use this one instead of the multi volumes where you need to inform the correct sector offset otherwise you you will not be able to to access the content of the how image file okay this is the the two possible uh, ways to to mount the the image file in a logical entry that can be accessible from a, a, a folder inside your environment okay now let's uh, go ahead and attach the big image file where we will be performing the activities to recover the environment of the virtual machines